that's the great thing about testing is it, it really does start to show you some of the surprises that are embedded in your business and with your fans. Andrew, I know you guys are doing a lot of testing and, and things constantly with all your businesses. What do you have to say oh, about, about that? Uh, uh, absolutely. I mean, uh, you have to test. And I, I think one of the things that's essential to remember is that your fan base is not uh, necessarily the same as anyone else's fan base. So different groups of people respond to different kinds of things. So if we were to say that on average uh, a vinyl record costs X number of dollars to make this amount of them and they sell for X number of dollars, you can look at the return on investment. But hey, if your fans aren't interested in vinyl records, your return on investment is going to be zero. So that's what I uh, mean by testing. You can do offerings based on smaller batches where the ROI looks like it'll be lower. Hey, we're only pressing up 50 CDs right now, so our costs are going to be higher. So in a way, our return on investment will be lower. But we get to test on that first batch. Is this something that our fans respond to? Are they still interested in the physical product or not? And you can only find that out by offering it. Uh, mm. So it, it's, it's not necessarily a good way to find, uh, to find out whether your fans are interested in a particular product or service by starting out making 10,000 of them. But if you can <laughs> start out by making uh, 50 of them, 500 of them, and offer them to a select portion of fans and see how they respond, then you've done something that resembles a test.